from the Chris Williams portfolio of blogs, this is youtube.com slash Mr. Chris of 2004, in association with the Kansas Tech on You EBIT shop. Hello, I'm Chris Williams. I blog to you on uh, Thursday the 2nd of December 2010 and as I speak to you through my microphone, I've got in my headphones the outcome of the uh, 2018 and 2022 uh, FIFA World Cup awarding. Uh, you know what I mean? I've got separate guys speaking of me as I speak. Rumours are that England have been knocked out in the first round of voting on the 2018 part of the contest. I think Spain and Portugal will get that. I think 2022 will. I want it to be Australia, but I think it will be America. Set Brat in that moment. Gary Lineker says that Britain, that England has been knocked out in the first round of voting. Set Brat is speaking, watching this on Boosted News 24 at the moment. Set Brat are talking gibberish. You know what I mean when I say he's talking gibberish. No, I'm not listening to what he's saying. I'm speaking to you instead. Uh, it's rather long drawn out. It was supposed to be announced at 10 past 3, but it's now 3.32. David Dean from Arsenal and Prince William looking unhappy. Apparently those who don't get through to the next round of voting, they are told in advance that if they've been eliminated, apparently England have been, t the England delegation have been told they've been eliminated. S some might say that the BBC Panorama documentary, which alleged corruption by senior FIFA voters. Uh, that might have counted against England, but personally I don't think it has. I think that uh, Spain having won the, the 2010 World Cup and also, go, also been the uh, European Championship holders, I think that uh, they have the right excitement for football at the moment. And of course, it would be quite good for FIFA to hold the World Cup in a nation that has recently won the contest, but Russia of course isn't to be the first European, the first Eastern European nation to uh, hold the World Cup. And it's about 2022 as well. I'd Qatar, apparently, their, their delegation is is happy, but uh, I can't see it going there. They say there's been a, there is a pact between Qatar and Spain and Portugal, so that they might both benefit from that. Australia, of course, with the soccer rules, no, football not properly developed in Australia, so it would be good for football to have the World Cup in Australia, but uh, I think America, having staged uh, a satisfactory tournament in 994, they might be ahead for that. Separate, uh, still speaking. I know Seth Bratter said that he himself was the with the England bid, but I heard he also said about the uh, Spain and Portugal bid as well. The delegates are looking bored. I'm feeling bored. I bet you're bored watching this blog. Why don't you just fast forward to the end to see what the outcome is? Because you know what the outcome is before we see this video. Big, uh, Bill Clinton is there. They say that uh, it's been a rather complicated voting process. The England delegation are laughing as uh, Brassa says that uh, three competitors uh, have lost. <laughs> Australia, Japan, Qatar, South Korea and USA in the 2022 bidding. There are 22 FIFA delegates. Jack Warner, of course, has lots of votes, I understand. That's where they tried to smooth him. To win, 
a bid that needs tw 12 votes. Bid with lowest number of votes eliminated, and it's votes are transferred, proportional representation, you could say. Blatter is open in the envelope, but I've got an envelope here, I could open this much quicker than Blatter, and the winner is... Get on with it. Now, he's saying he's got the envelope, then all of a sudden he says, but before I open the envelope, this, uh... He thinks we're done. He's turned this news in the contest. There's, there's whole, there's Netherlands and Belgium, Spain and Portugal, Russia. And he's in last but not least England. He's saying. Interesting. Him saying last but not least England. No, he likes England himself, but he's talking as if he's frustrated about it. <coughs> I hope they're not gonna. Bring in the envelope on some kind of special cushion that'd just be that'd just be dumb. There you are. Here we are. Special envelope having its own special entrance. Here we are. It's an envelope, it's a white envelope. Here we are. I bet it's gonna be Spain and Portugal. It's okay now. He's gonna hold up so that we will see it at the same time as he does. Yeah, 2018, the winner is... 2018, the winner is Spain, Portugal, I reckon. Russia! <laughs> I don't fancy playing football in Russia. <laughs> that was explained why Roman Abramovich was smiling earlier. And Vladimir Putin, of course, not even bothering to turn up to... Uh, 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 canvas for this, so uh, you might have thought it was a foregone conclusion. So, Russia have got the 2018 World Cup, and it might be because of Andrei Asharvin. This morning, he uh, uh, he uh, gave uh, a big speech to uh, the uh, auditorium, and I find that was very well welcome. Let's hang around for. Uh, are you going to hang around for 2022? Oh. <laughs> All the uh, English fans gathered in Birmingham and uh, by Tower Bridge, they're all clearing off now, but they they haven't got it. Oh. And Blatter is giving the World Cup to Russia. The Deputy Prime Minister of Russia has got the World Cup. And everyone's getting on the stage, and I don't think they're going to tell us who's won the 2022 World Cup uh, hosting opportunity until after this video blog has used up all its uh, minutes. And the Deputy Prime Minister of Russia about to give a statement, so uh, I think that's the end for this video blog. If you want to find out who's won the 2022 World Cup, just watch the news. I can't be bothered. I've got to go anyway. Right, until next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye.